story called titled Brave Wolf and the Thunderbird. Um, the story is by Joe Medicine Crow with the pictures or illustrations by Linda R. Martin. I hope you guys enjoy this. Mm -hmm. One day, a man named Brave Wolf went hunting in the hills. He did not return for several weeks, and when he came back to camp, he told his family and friends what had happened and while he was gone. While he was hunting, a huge thunderbird flew over and snatched him up in her giant claws. She took him to a high cliff overlooking a lake of big mountains. There on the cliff was a nest of two chicks just beginning to get big. The mother thunderbird said to Grey Wolf, I have brought you up here for a purpose. In the spring, when my young ones are just about so big, a monster comes out of the water in the lake down there and climbs into this cliff to eat my little ones. It's been doing that for quite a while. I've tried everything to stop that monster. I've hit it with my lightning, but I can't stop it. <laughs> so now I have brought you, a human being, to come with me. All right, said Grey Wolf. Let me think about it and see what I can do. After Grey Wolf thought for a while, he said to the Thunderbird, Go out and get me some dry logs. I want to build a fire. The Thunderbird took off, and pretty soon she came back with a dry log and some branches and stacked them in a pile. Now, he said, I'll need some nice round rocks. So the Thunderbird went off and brought some back. And soon Grey Wolf had a big pile of rocks. Next, Grey Wolf said, I will need you to kill a large buffalo and bring it here. The Thunderbird did as he asked. Brave Wolf skinned the buffalo, and from the hide he made a basket that will hold water. The Thunderbird used the rest of the buffalo to feed the chicks. All right, Brave Wolf said, I'll need water. Let me know when you think the monster is going to rise out of the lake. That's when I'll need the water. After a while, the Thunderbird noticed that waves were building on the lake, and she told Brave Wolf, the monster is coming up in about a day. Then the Thunderbird caused a quick little rain shower that filled Brave Wolf's basket with water. <coughs> Brave Wolf built a fire right near the edge of the cliff, just where the monster would come up and heated the rocks in the fire. The monster was a great big snake, something like a dragon. It started rising up out of the lake and the waves got higher and higher. When the monster started climbing the cliff, the Thunderbird flew down and struck it with lightning, but she couldn't stop it. It kept coming up slowly, 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 getting pretty close to the top. And when it got to the top, the monster opened its mouth. Grey Wolf was ready. He had made a couple of big hooks out of tree limbs so he could push the burning rocks into the monster's mouth. He kept throwing in those red hot rocks, and when the monster had swallowed them all, Brave Wolf poured the water from his basket into its mouth. Steam shot up and made all kinds of hissing noises. The monster started wobbling around, groaning, and it finally fell backward into the lake with a big splash. And that was the end of the monster. The Thunderbird invited all the birds of the country to come have a big feast. They came and ate, up, ate the monster, ate it all up. And then the Thunderbird carried the brave wolf back home. Thank you guys for listening.